Good day, my name is Barry Thornton from Fuel Cell Technologies. Um, what I'm showing you here today is our brand new turbo fuel cell system. And this is done in response to the ongoing demand for uh, fuels that can save on present petrol and diesel input into vehicles. And this particular unit has been designed for this in mind. Fuel cells, as they have been de designed up to this point in time, have got a lot of manual operations, for instance for topping up, or uh, changing, or cleaning, or, or um, cooling down. Um, there is no answer to that at the present moment. We have brought up this particular uh, turbo fuel cell for this answer. When you are a trucker, or, a, or you own a bus, for instance, or a boat, or uh, you do a lot of mileage, you, you do not want to have to be monitoring what is going on in the fuel cells. So for this very reason, this particular system has its own reservoirs and its own storage capacity for electrolytes, etc. It has its own monitor sensors, etc., which are which um, what all this wiring is about. And a lot of the stuff, of course, is uh, a lot of the monitors, pumps, various other things are contained in this uh, container here, which is a watertight container, to keep water out of the system. Now, what we've done here is we've got a filter here that helps clean the system. We've got on here a header tank, which um, keeps um, a very strong solution of electrolyte in because we want a very strong reaction. And this feeds the uh, various cells and, and, the, uh, and the reservoir on demand. As it is essential to get the HHO gas, which is only produced on demand, so when you switch on the engine, you in actual fact start producing HHO gas within these cells here, these two cells. Now, when that gas is produced, it must be taken immediately to the engine via the air pipe. So over here, uh, just past here, there would be an air pipe into which both these pipes here are inserted these two pipes here, these two black pipes, they are inserted into that and then the vacuum from the engine sucks out the, um, the HHO gas from the top of these cells. So there's never more than say an egg cap of HHO gas at any one stage within the system because it's constantly being produced and constantly being vacuumed out into the engine whilst in operation. As soon as you finish the operation, switch off the ignition, then the reaction stops and there's no more HHO gas produced, so there's very little left in the system. Um, the storage medium for the uh, HHO gas, of course, is water, because water is made of H2O. This is a fuse, and that is a the wire that would lead from here to, say, an on-demand system, such as the windscreen wipers, for instance. So when you switch on the engine, then power is put through to the windscreen wipers so that when you turn the switch, if it's raining, you've got power. So that is an on-demand system. Then over here, this is the negative that would go to, say, the battery. And so there's your positive and there's your negative. And that, of course, is the fuse. Every now and again, you will have to top up every couple of days uh, with the electrolyte. And all you do is remove that cap there, pour it in, and then put the cap back, back on again and then that electrolyte will be uh, taken down via this pipe uh, on demand into, these, into this whole system here. Now this system is say, the smallest system of the turbo fuel cell systems. We can in actual fact, being a modular system, add further cells on. So we can have two on this side and two on that side with the reservoir in the center with the header tank. So this is a very um, uh, adaptable system, it can cope with larger engines, or you can have two or three of these things if you've got a very large engine, we're talking about 7 litres and 10 litre engines on very big trucks, etc. Um, and the point to bear in mind is potentially, potentially, we've got to say potentially, these units can save up to 40% on diesel. That is what the main focus is of this particular unit here. It is designed for the larger engine so that you can get um, as much HHO gas into the system. Now, if you can imagine, you know, let, let's just have a look at a barbecue, for instance. If you have a barbecue, you'll put some paper in, you put some wood in the kindling, and then you put charcoal in on top. Then you set the paper on fire, that sets the wood on fire, that sets the charcoal on fire. HHO gas is four times more combustible than diesel. 
And so when the, when the diesel starts to fire, the HHO gas will fire far faster than it and therefore burn more diesel. And that is how you're saving up to 40% on the diesel costs. So that is your potential there. So if you're presently using, say, a £1,000 a week, the potential is to save, with a 40% saving, up to £400 of that. So there's a lot of potential here, and these units will pay themselves in the first month or month and a half. And that is how fast. If you want to buy them, they're very simple for mechanics to install, especially on diesel engines. Um, they are fast to install and all you've got to do is find a spot for them. Usually there's a, a, a very easy and uh, sort of voluminous spot and um, just in between the grill and the radiator and then you usually have plenty of space there to put units like this so they can supply the engine with the necessary HHO gas. But in big trucks you've got plenty of room all over the place, not like uh, car engines where you really only have the crush area between the grill and the radiator so trucks actually have a lot more we just don't want the system put for instance um, on the engine itself it should be moved away and kept away as, uh, where the, where, you know, as far away as possible but as I said it's a very simple system to install and it will and uh, potentially save you a lot of money thank you very much should you wish to furnace please furnace on in Britain at 01276 uh, 692626 for further information. Um, we also have websites which you can see on this site here and I suggest you go through as well if you want to see any, any more. Um, of course this is on a website as well as on, on YouTube so thank you very much for watching and um, um, with the way fuel is going uh, this is a very attractive proposition. All your uh, um, uh, biofuels are going through the roof, water isn't and this is this is the fuel here, water. That's all it is. It is a very simple system. So I suggest you consider this for your vehicles. Thank you very much once again. Bye.